rest of the theme. mom but she's still in milk and I think she's about to go into heat. Clara has the tendency to have a little bit of discharge the day before or a couple of days before she goes into heat. So Clara has the one that grows her hooves the most out of the entire herd. She really does. I don't know why but her hooves are always the worst. Last time I trimmed her hooves, she um, started bleeding because she moved at the second that I was cutting, right the second I was cutting, and like right now, and she cut a little bit upwards. Now, if you ever have a problem like that, all you have to do is put either blood stop, which is a powder, or what's it called? It's not baking powder, but it's cornstarch. That's what it is. Cornstarch works exactly the same and again The idea is not only to trim the hooves is to remove all the dirt and all the things She's trying to She's trying to do that. She's She's pretty bad at trimming her hooves. She doesn't really like it, but um, She will put up with it as long as she has grain and she I you know, I'm trying to condition her for breeding, so I don't mind giving her some extra grain. So I'm going to try to do it as fast as I can, but really, she is the one that gives me the hardest time because her hooves are super hard and super long each month. Don't know why she grows them more. I don't know if she's not going on the patio as much, She'd rather be in the back. I don't know, but every time I trim her hooves, I need to make sure they're really, really level. And I know, I know, sweet girl, I know. You kind of want to put your foot down. We're almost there though. So, and that way you can see a little bit how flat they are. It's okay. It's all right, Clara. I'm not doing anything to your mom. Look at her. She's eating. She loves being here. I'm gonna You're choke gonna her for much score. Same thing. Best way in this awkward position is to push. She hates it because I check her the most. Uh, but you push it and you look down. And she is not great. Uh, now this is kind of covering it, but she is not great. Uh, she's not wide by any means, but she's not great. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give her some ivermectin, and that way we can get and that way we can get that out of the way. We'll do that, and then I'll check her in ten days to make sure that it did work. Clean the top. She's fine. I don't know why you guys are being so nosy and so dramatic. Clara is fine. Definitely not gonna love it because it stings, but uh, it's absolutely necessary. Um, I like to spray it with alcohol. You don't have to. Some people say it's really unnecessary. Okay. Uh, oh, 
she did so good. <laughs> oh, there it comes. It really stings, but look at Clara. I mean, she's a pro mother, so apparently she can't even feel that. You're such a pro, Clara. Such a pro. Oh, oh, now it's coming. Now it's coming. Let's see if I can make you feel better with rain. Hold on, hold on. I know, I know, I know. Look, look. Will rain make you feel better? Oh, not even rain is gonna make her feel better. Okay, okay, let me rub it. It's okay, it's okay. You're fine. You're fine. Oh, I know. She's really hating it. And Clara is super dramatic. Every time, I'm gonna show you her face. But every time she's in pain, sometimes she throws to the ground and she plays dead. Now she can't do it right now, but she's really not liking this pain she's in right now. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right, sweet girl. You're fine. She doesn't even want to eat her brain. It is not liking it, but she does really need it. So, and now to make things worse, I forgot, but I have to give her her, her copper. So, this is gonna be very interesting. So, I'm gonna, I'm not a pro at this, so do not. I'm not pretending that I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm just showing you what I'm doing. So this last one thing, okay, mama? Okay. <laughs> she's chewing on the crunchy peanut butter. Now she's, <laughs> you're done? Oh, no, she's feeling a lot better. I'm so sorry, sweet girl. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, okay? She's not looking at me because she's really upset. Okay. Okay, so I have a so I have an idea. How about I brought you? Will that make you feel better? Okay, there. I'm gonna brush you. I've been checking for lice and for any kind of parasites because Sometimes they get a warm or they get anemic in the eyelid when you check their FAMACHA score just because they're, they have some kind of uh, either lice or some kind of bug in the outside. Will you forgive me, Clara? Are we friends now? side your belly now one way to help Clara with her anemia is to give her some extra alfalfa so just like her baby Athene I'm gonna be putting Clara in the afternoon up here to give her about a cup maybe a cup and a half of alfalfa just for herself. Not because she has to fight for food because she really doesn't. She is the one that, you know, gets the most food if anything. But um, when they are anemic, so when their FAMACHA score is not good, that is um, a reflection of, of course, some kind of parasite and also a iron deficiency. So that's why it's very important. I was showing all the other signs. So that's why it's really important to give them something that will help them replenish. You can do red cell. I don't think Clara is at the point of doing red cell or chlorophyll. I think that's another thing you can do. But I think you can see Clara has a very shiny coat. <laughs> now she decided to start eating. She has a very shiny coat and she doesn't have any kind of parasite. Uh, she's very healthy looking, as you can see, she's very round and you know, it's the end of the day. So every single goat gets a huge belly in the afternoon after eating all their 
regular uh, hay of the day. Now this camera right here, it's because I also trim her tail and I cleaned up her outer area. I don't know if you can see it. Is this the most wonderful job you've ever seen? No, but I like to trim their tails so they are even. I know, such a stupid thing to care about, but I do like that. And I also like the idea of some people say, oh, don't trim their udders. No, it's not completely bare, but I cut the longest hairs or the longer hairs because I don't like to have milk. Oh, hairs in my milk. So I kind of trim a little bit of her back end. As you can see here are the sides. And I made this even so she looks a little bit prettier because to be honest, she her hair is so beautiful she got a little owie there by rubbing against everything so that's why i was thinking well maybe she needs to be checked to make sure she doesn't have any kind of lies oh she's not loving me right this second you want to go outside mommy you want to go outside she she really I'm gonna tell you, let me let her go. Um, then I have all this to clean up. That's for checking the weight and all this stuff. Let me let her go. She's probably gonna jump on this, even though she shouldn't. And I'm gonna tell you something about Clara. Come on, Clara. She really, I'm telling you, she's not. Come on, come on. Come on, let's go. For somebody who really wanted to get out, you don't want to right now, huh? Hey, go. 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 Let me tell you something about Clara. Um, it's all kind of looking creepy here, but let me tell you a story. Clara has something that none of the other girls do. When she gets scared, she almost faints and, and it's a it's the craziest thing but i remember the first day we brought clara home she saw the dogs which they didn't have goats where she was living at hands and never done farms and i i think they were just you know she was scared of the dogs when she saw them here at home for the first time and she threw herself on the ground and she started shaking as if she was having a seizure and then she played dead for like a few seconds and that is Clara for you uh, she was fine I researched a lot of that and then I even brought it to the attention of my vet and she mentioned that that is not common but it's something that goats do sometime and it's part of their instinct of playing dead. Some goats really don't have it in them anymore, so they don't and they just run. But Clara, apparently she has her instinct still from her, or not hers, but her ancestors wild times. And so now every time she's in a really scary situation even you know if it's a dog if it's an animal outside that she's seen from here or whatever the case may be she really gets oh so scared that she can't control it she falls to the ground and it, last time it happened i was bringing her she was misbehaving and she was in an area where she shouldn't have been which is inside where i have the the grain bin um i was with her you know it's not like she was there for a really long time but i i know every time i pull on her collar and lead her away i don't have to pull her but i have to lead her with her collar she always does and this time she didn't so i was upset with her and i was kind of telling her how upset i was at her and leading her back inside the house and she threw herself on the ground and she looked like she was having seizures and then she played dead for a few seconds now when she did it the second time i had her tested at the vet and there's no kind of like neuro neurological problem that they could see um, they could do more advanced 
tests but as far as what they did to check that it really didn't show any kind of damage like she doesn't have seizures she doesn't have but every time she's scared that's her reaction so again the vet explained it to me as it's not super common it's not every goat that does it but some of them still have it in them to do what a goat would do in the wild and is play dead if they see that there is a threat and they won't be able to run away from them so it's it's interesting and again i'm sharing this with you with full confidence after all the tests that we've done on clara and tell you uh yeah there's no neurological problem she's not having seizures she's extremely afraid of something and that's how it shows it and honestly that was a good indicator more than once for us when she's back here she's looking to the back and if she really starts shaking like something it's really really scaring her and uh, more than once i had to put them inside at four o'clock in the afternoon during winter time because she is kind of my alarm that something it's scaring her and typically it's a threat she is not scared of our dogs anymore like hope would come in here smell her butt even try to nurse like she'll smell her um teats and everything and clara is you know she knows she's fine she's not a threat she's not gonna kill her she's not gonna do anything you know the other dogs the same thing she's not scared of them Clara is super confident, she's super strong, she's super stubborn, and she knows what is good for her, she knows what is not good for her, but in the end, um, she still has that instinct, and I thought I'd share it with you guys.